both be consistent with everything you do in life whether you're working you're working out be consistent and praying just nourish your body and your soul be consistent at that yes Cindy's Chronicles. I am, it's early in the morning and I decided to vlog my day since somebody, I, I noticed on my cameras a young lady walking in my house and I was surprised at what she had in her hand so I grabbed my camera. Let's see who that young lady is. <laughs> Come on, what you got, what you got, what you got? Y'all look, I got on my glasses this morning. I had on my nightgown, at least I put on some tights. Hello. Hey Sam, look what she brought me. She's the best. What you got there, girl? Let's see. I got a little iced coffee for Janae. I got your skinny cinnamon dolce, some with almond milk. <laughs> and then I don't like coffee, so I got myself a white hot chocolate. Oh, okay. Say okay. ah! <laughs> All right, guys. So, what are we doing today, Sam? We're about to go uh, work out. Uh. Uh. <laughs> we're about to go work out. We're going to work out this morning, and then we're going to work. But I got coffee and a workout partner. Jeez, if she wouldn't have came and got me, I'd probably be still asleep right now. So. Shout out to Sam for getting me out the bed this morning. Why is that little thing right there, Sam? You see it? The square. Yeah, what's it's that? This is on your face. No, look, it's focusing on my neck. I don't know then. Can you say good morning to Cindy's Chronicles, Nay? Good morning, Cindy's Chronicles. What's up, Cindy's Chronicles? It's a great day. <laughs> it's a I'm pretty hyped. It is a beautiful morning. God is good. Life is good. I'm happy. I'm healthy. My family is happy and healthy. Larry! Larry got a date today. Shh. I think I'm going to follow him and spy on him. Did you know Larry had a date? Larry has a date. Guess what, guys? My baby Larry. He's just 17 years old. He got his first date tonight. I think we might spy him. I want to see what she look like. Y'all don't understand. My baby is so shy. Like, he's a real... What she said? <laughs> Messy Nate came out this morning. Messy Nate came out. Oh, I forgot about Messy Nate. Messy Nate, where you at? Anyway, my baby is so shy, guys. Um, even though he's a real superstar, and when he get on stage, he, he go off. When he get off of stage, he just shy. He's just, like, real conservative. Just like, he just not worried about it. Yeah, he's not really worried about girls right now, but... I'm just like a good thing, because he just worries about, like, himself and then the people around him that he cares about. Right. He love his family. He love his mama. He love his mm -hmm. mate. He love his Sam. He love his brother and sister and his nephew. He love his family, but... Even his friends, like, he takes care of his friends like their family. Yeah. He'll even take care of his friends. He don't have very many friends, but the ones he do have, he'll come home and say, Mama... Um, can you cook for my friend? Oh, mama, what you cook today? And he'll just bring his friends right in the house and be like, Mama, we hungry. I'm like, but I still feed him. He only have a few friends. And they're his that's friends like, since like elementary like, school. That's what you need, loyal friends. Yeah, which one of these mine? The, uh, the ice? Uh -uh. Oh, the, okay, good, good, good. Um, so yeah, he's a really good hearted person. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that all my kids are growing up. 
my baby literally has a date tonight. Oh my gosh. He just, deep girl, he got up this morning. He went and got his hair cut. And you know, honestly, he got a new outfit. Was on the phone when he said he was going out, I was like, he probably, he probably got some girl. But I was just going to be playing. He got a real date. They going, they going on a date. I think they going bowling. Thank you. They going to play. And you know, the thing is, it's like, like Larry is cute. It's just the fact that he's actually giving a girl the time of day. He don't give girls the time of the day, y'all. Like I said, because he's just not interested. He worried about himself. So. Right. She doesn't be cute. Oh, I can't wait to see her. Y'all just Probably don't know. We not. this is kind of like a family joke because Larry do not give girls the time of the day. So many girls will think he's cute. And so many girls think he's like, he cute and Alright. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> he is not. Oh, my arm hurt. I you know what I can't even sit this on the table because I broke off one of my um I noticed that. Yeah, it's in my purse. <laughs> oh wait, this might be it. Look. I think Larry been laying on my pillow. If I find out he been laying on my pillow, I'm going to kick his ass. See, my pillow is all white. But, there's your coffee right there, babe. So, what do you think? I was asking about some. Oh. Mm. You think he ready for his date tonight? Um, yeah. He's probably not going to make it like I, I told you maybe this morning when I got up, I was like, let's go spy on him. I know you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> I think it'll be so much fun, but he'll be so mad. He'll be so mad. Oh, like extremely mad. But we don't have to post it. We could just have it for our records for when he get ready to get married. I could be like, this was his first date. <laughs> we literally invaded Neek and Anthony's private space when they had their first date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sam, can you say yes to that? <laughs> can't do it. Can't do that. We, we always invaded they, uh, Anthony's and them space. We used to be peeking around the corner. We used to be like checking his text messages and his phone. We we knew way more than he thought we knew. Thanks to you, investigator Nate. I mean, I was in the phone, but. Okay, we back. I didn't want to say too much. Yeah, but I was always in denial about my children. I never wanted to believe that they actually had a boyfriend or girlfriend or and I would be like, my kid's not dating. Anthony was in like 11th grade and I still <laughs> did not think that he was- Had like a real girlfriend? A real girlfriend. I was like, he not into girls. He not, you know, I thought Anthony was just into basketball and um, stuff like that. And come to find out, he had a real girlfriend. <laughs> 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 so, Janae used to, Janae will get the business clear. Don't get it twisted. Janae is very That's smart. Messy. That's a messy nay. That is a messy nay, okay? <laughs> Everybody, let me show y'all what she over here doing. I love the mess. <laughs> she definitely loved the mess. I'm the investigator. Yes. She's she not real life messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not I real know. life messy, but let me tell you, she'll get the business clear, right? You'll be thinking like... Oh, she get the business clear. She's not going to come and ask you a question unless she completely know the answer. She didn't did the research. <laughs> she didn't check. She not even on social media, but she knows how to get on social media, if you know what I'm saying. She is, yeah, she's a creep. <laughs> she said basically. <laughs> but she, she definitely keep me on my toes because without her, I think my kids would have really gotten over on me. You think so? My kids are not allowed to have a Facebook. They still got over, but we they got over some. Stuff. My kids were not allowed to be on social media. Uh huh. And I come to find out that Nick had Instagram. Remember they? And he was like, they, they was young. This when what was it called? Kick or something. When they had B ball. They had kick. They had oh, um. That's so funny. <laughs> y'all never see us chilling in the living room. So this is really cute this morning. They were up. What y'all see in the backyard? I need a pool guy. My pool. Y'all, we need to get my pool I clean. I was going to ask you. I want to go swimming. <laughs> yeah, I want to go swimming too. But I got Kaiser a little floaty thing. Mm. I was, uh, there was like 
there's like a thing that like has a tint over it. Mm -hmm. But I was gonna get that. I got him something. Baby, else can you turn it down a little bit? Because I can hear it. Mm -hmm. Just like how we was carrying his hand. Oh, so I think that'd be so cute. Oh, yeah, he could like flap yeah. the water his legs and his arms, and nobody gotta carry him. Sorry, guys. I wear glasses, so I have to put them on in the morning, or I won't be able to see. So yeah, we gotta get the pool clean. All right. When the pool was clean, y'all used to go swimming in there, right? Yeah, I remember Anthony threw me in the pool. <sighs> like I think it was like my last day of a, our last day of high school, and we came out here, and I had like all my clothes on. Anthony just threw me in. Yeah, just you should have did that. <laughs> Anthony be doing too much. He be, he be pushing it too <laughs> much. <laughs> Anthony is a little weird. That's my baby. <laughs> But um, we're going to get the pool clean, y'all, so we can have a little pool party or something. That would be cute. Yeah. We yeah, used to have pool parties all the time. Yeah. We used to have pool parties before we flooded. Once we flooded, guys, it was like, it was hard to get back on track. You know what? I may do y'all story time tomorrow on the 2016 flood so y'all can see what we went through. Who's here for it? Ha <laughs> ha! That'll be a good story time. That'll be a really good story time. Cause I have pictures, I have videos. It was it was bad. Um, for you guys who don't know, um, Baton Rouge, where we're from, flooded in two thousand August of two thousand sixteen, and we had like four feet of water in our house. So we had to leave our home for a, about a month until we got in. We had to gut our whole house out. We had to, um, all of our cars flooded. Yes, I still miss my BMW. It was an X6 and it was the nicest car in the city. Am I lying? No, it was really nice. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know. Once you've had all those different cars, they don't really excite you anymore. So I don't think I really want a luxury car right now. Um, I'm fine with the, with my Jeep. I will. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, I'm I'm just a normal chicken hood. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Anthony, get that from me. <laughs> All right, guys. So before work this morning, me and Sam gonna go do a little lap around the block. Around up. Around to the, something. A something. Either y way, y'all gonna see. What can be the thought of the day, Sam? Oh, you put me on spot. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I put you on spot, you actually did really good. Thanks. Let me think. Let me think. A word I can think of is consistency. Co I like that word. <laughs> you know what you think about that word? It's, it's really great, you know, but let's let Sam explain. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 okay. Let's um, whatever you do, just make sure you are consistent. That's how you reach all your goals. I know that sometimes in life, like there's obstacles or things can get hard for you, but you'll never reach your goals without you being consistent. You know, consistently pray, consistently work out consistently nourish your body or in your soul so just be consistent and we'll treat yourself right boom boom <laughs> wait 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 sam you gotta say it one more time because i liked it that say again? Wait, wait no but just say something again i liked it okay. being consistent because you, before i take over go be consistent with everything you do in life, whether you're working, you're working out, be consistent and praying, just nourish your body and your soul. Be consistent at that. Yes, honey. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Okay. <laughs> y'all don't judge me looking like uh Momo this morning. Eh, it's okay. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I can't tell y'all how important it is to be consistent. That was a great great word this morning sam i appreciate that because me of all people let me tell you i come up with all these bright ideals and and then i'll start it and i mean in my head it looks i could become a millionaire oh i got it all planned out but i don't be con you know i don't stay consistent mm -hmm. anything you choose to do in life um people always like to say um, I, I wish I made the right decision. I wish I made the wrong, uh, you know, I wonder if I made the wrong decision. No such thing. 
If you feel it in your heart and it's something that you truly want to do, you go for it and you stay consistent. One thing, God is going to bag you up if it's something that, if it's something that good that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, um, I used to always think that I had, um, I had to find my purpose. Mm -hmm. Now I truly don't feel like, uh, it's a such thing. I think your purpose can be whatever you want it to be. You got to be consistent and work at it. Mm -hmm. If you wake up one day and you say, I should be a cookie maker. You could be the best damn cookie maker you want to be. You got to stay consistent. And you got to put your all into it. Mm -hmm. You can't accept to get, um, you know, become a millionaire overnight. If you're not willing to stay consistent and work at what you believe in. Or you can't expect yourself to be happy with something if you are going to quit after a day or two. Exactly. You know, I, I could say that with this YouTube thing. That, that's, that's a prime example. Now, let's say with this YouTube thing. Um, a lot of people are wanting to become YouTubers right now, including myself. Including my daughter-in-law, Sam. My son, Anthony. But um, I think Kneecap taught us all or if not taught us, inspired us all mm -hmm. to be consistent. And I'm talking about my daughter, Neek. Because the one thing that she, it's, it's not easy to stay consistent in this YouTube thing. No. It's not easy. A lot of people think, oh, all you gotta do is wake up and get in front of a camera. But sometimes you don't feel like waking up. <laughs> you yeah. know, sometimes, you, well, not really waking up. Sometimes you don't feel like getting up and getting in front of the camera like this morning. You know, you don't have on any makeup. Your hair is not combed. You don't really feel like, uh, or if you're, you're having a bad day or something like that. It's not so easy to get up and jump in front of a camera. But if it's something that you really want and you stay consistent at it, you can be great. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing way better with my YouTube now than I ever expected. You know, I'm, I'm not getting a million subscribers or a million views, but I have some very loyal subscribers and they love me. And that is amazing. I, I feel like they my real life friends and they love when I'm being consistent. I post and they comment and they like, and I see a lot of the same people. I never even saw their faces and I think they were friends. <laughs> is that weird? Uh, no. <laughs> Say it again, Sam. Make that face. Yeah. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, guys, the word today is stay consistent. Being consistent is is everything. You heard it from Cindy. <laughs> and Sam. And Sam. <laughs> well, actually, it was Sam word. I stole it. Janae, stop being messy this morning. <laughs> messy Nay is in full effect, guys. I got one more thing to say. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Let me get the camera on Messy Nay. I'm ready, Messy. <laughs> messy right. Nay. You have to do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Okay, so I do. Like I like that. So wait, so you have to do the best that you can. Until you know better. Until you know better. And when you know better, you do better. Bam. Bam. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. What you mean, bam? Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what you got to say? That was great. That was wonderful. Uh, it really was. My camera is doing weird stuff. Hold on one second, guys. Let me see. Okay. I actually can see you better. Can somebody please tell Neek to buy me a new camera? Hello, Neek. Can you please buy your mom a camera? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, my angels. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to our little morning chat. Y'all have an amazing day. Stay consistent. Mwah.